Hi, I'm Stephen Turnbull. I'm a psychologist from near Edinburgh in Scotland, and uh, I grew up in the church, but that didn't make me a Christian. I loved the stories of Jesus. I found them very interesting, fascinating, in fact. Uh, this character who had great friendships and, why well, did the miraculous. But I thought that's all they were, just really good stories. When I hit my teenage years, I became quite disillusioned with the church and uh, quite sceptical. I didn't see the evidence of a God that was alive. But that all changed. I went on a missions team with uh, Church of Scotland and uh, wow, that was a real eye-opener for me. The people who were there, there was something different about them. They were fully alive. They were so happy. And I could see there was something different about them. And that was the first evidence that I saw that God was alive. They spoke about Jesus as a personal friend. And I found that incredible, fascinating. And around that time, uh, I was starting to ask the big questions about life. How do you get the best out of life? How am I going to live a fantastic life, a life that I can be proud of when I'm looking back from my deathbed many years to come, that I know that I've, I've lived a good life, a life that was worth living. And when I was asking all these questions, uh, something terrible happened in our family. There was a tragedy. My grandmother was involved in a car accident and uh, she had terrible injuries, terrible head injuries. She was in a coma for a week. And the specialist spoke to her family and said that um, she would just pass away, that the brain damage was so severe that she could not recover, that she would not be able to speak or walk or feed herself. And uh, pneumonia had got into her lungs and they were not going to treat that pneumonia, they were just going to um, let her pass away. My grandfather, when he relayed the information to the family, were devastated and he said, I'm going to ask the minister from our church to come and pray for her healing. I remember saying to him, isn't that a complete waste of time? They've just told us this terrible news. It's over. And my grandfather says, the Bible tells us that Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. He healed 2,000 years ago. He, he still heals today. I remember that night praying for the first time really ever in my life earnestly and asking God, God, I need to know. I need to know if you're real. If you're real, if you're the God of the Bible, it's nothing to you to heal my grandmother. You raise people from the dead. I need to know if you're real. So I'm asking, will you heal my grandmother? If you do, I'll give my life to you, I'll follow you. The next day, the minister from my grandparents' church came to the small room in the hospital where my gran was and he had a small bottle of oil with him. He poured some oil on his finger, he made the sign of the cross on her forehead and made a simple prayer just asking that Jesus would bring healing to this body. When he prayed that prayer, there was a power, a presence came into the room. My grandmother opened her eyes and sat up in bed and started talking. She made a full recovery. That absolutely blew me away. I gave my life to God and it's been an incredible journey, 31 years since then. And I've felt that power, that presence many times in my life. I've seen the miraculous. And I can testify beyond any shadow of a doubt that God is alive. That God of the Bible is the true almighty God. And that Jesus is a personal friend. He's forgiven my past. He's empowered me to live in the present. And he's given me great hope for the future. And I'm excited to live this life with Jesus. It's the best decision I've ever made and I recommend it to you. It can bring you life in all its fullness. Thank you.